The last is called the power or the blood. The blood. Oh dear. I feel so sad. Eh? I wish I had the time to pieces this thing for you. The blood. But let's see what we can do. We're ready for the communion now. We'll pray. Somebody is 10 or 15 minutes left to wave something that 100 years, 100 years, 50 years could not wait. I'm not entertaining you. Believe me. Hmm. The accuser of the brethren finds a way to come before the holy judge. You know the song? Points a finger at the faults and failings of the saints won't you judge them now but i have an advocate in heaven's courts my redeemer and the high priest of my soul jesus christ the lamb the holy lamb of god Nathaniel Bassi's song. Very, very powerful song. Eternal saving love I don't have to cry for you have paid the price. Sit down. Let me teach you something about blood. Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. What is in blood? For the life of the flesh is in the blood. What is in blood? Life. Say life. What when you hold your ATM? What is in your ATM? You see that now. There is something that is captured in your ATM. Are we together now? Yes. The blood of anything carries the life of that thing. Not just the blood of Jesus. The blood of a goat is where the life of a goat flows. The blood of a human is where his human life flows. There is a relationship between blood and and life blood represents life write it down please blood represents life this is the first quick information I want you to know about blood and this life is in levels this life that is in the blood is in levels now the second thing I want you to know about blood from scripture, blood has always been used as a ransom. Write the word ransom. Very powerful word. Ransom. R-A-N-S-O-M. You know what a ransom is? Look up. A ransom is the payment you make to release someone in captivity. When they kidnap someone, unfortunately, like we have around our region, the terrorists or kidnappers, for whatever reason, they demand a ransom. That money, that purchasing power that you bring to give them, then they release the captive, is found in blood. So blood is currency in the realm of the spirit. The same way Naira and Kobo and dollars and pounds are in the physical realm. Naira is actually an instrument of settlement and purchase in the realm of the spirit. 
that you can use blood like you use money to buy things is called redemption. When you redeem a thing, you buy it back, number one. When you redeem a thing, to redeem means to compensate for a default. The idea of redemption talks of compensation, a system of compensation for a default. To redeem also means to regain possession. To regain possession. So blood has the purchasing power. Blood has the power of appeasal. It can bring to an end contentions. Why am I teaching you about the blood before we take the communion? Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. It's a very powerful and profound spiritual law. Please look up and read it as loud as you can. Ready? One to go. As the bird by wandering has swallowed, so a cause causeless shall not stand. Do you know what this means? That means anytime a cause, Anytime any kind of demonic thing comes, if there is no legal basis, it will not work. So the fact that it works, it means that there is a cause. Because a curse causeless shall not stand. Now hear me. As powerful as the name of Jesus is, when it has to do with dealing with matters of legalities in the spirit, listen very carefully. It is true that the word of God is powerful. It is true that the name is powerful. But there is a legal system in the realm of the spirit. I told you here that ransom means the payment to bring a pizza because of a default. When man fell, we willingly gave our authority we willingly gave our lives. We willingly submitted ourselves to the influence of Satan. He became the God of this world. Even the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that now walks in the sons of disobedience. Now I have taught you in, in the, the, the previous series. That many of these our precious forefathers. And many of in ignorance. Many of them legitimately invited Satan and through medium and priests and whatever it is, they entered covenants seeking assistance from the realm of the spirit, knowing that a body without a spirit is dead because they did not know the one through God. Satan masquerading as God came and deceived them and most of them willingly handed over. I hope you know, I taught you last week, the blood in you now. I hope you know that your blood is older than you. Except you don't believe biology. Because it was because of that blood that you came. The blood was already there for you to have arrived. Is that true? Without that blood, you would not be born. By one man's sin. And then through the means of reproduction. By blood. The sin nature continued to multiply and you know that the blood from a child medical doctors teach us that it comes from the man that was why God did not allow any man play the fatherly role of Jesus the Holy Ghost himself there was no problem having an earthly woman since the blood comes from man if a man participated in the birth of Jesus he would be born as sin immediately he would not even need any communion because he's already sin so he came as the sinless one are we together now? That is the qualification that the kind of appeasal that the yokes and the causes and the covenants demand based on the legal system of heaven, it will require blood that did not come from a human male. And that is impossible based on the law of reproduction. So the Holy Spirit came and played that fatherly role. Jesus came, although with a human body, but not blood from a mortal man. Understand this very carefully. I'm building for you the case why the blood of Jesus is so precious. So that is God's blood. Is that true? 
Because <laughs> when Jesus Christ, listen carefully, I told you that blood has a measure of purchasing power. When Jesus Christ gave his blood, because his blood is a representation of his life, when he gave that life, he was sinless. That means he was not deserving of judgment. Are we together now? And watch the wisdom. Even though it was God that allowed Jesus to die, but Jesus made sure that Satan played a role in his dying. Why? Because somebody is about to be blamed. And when Satan was moving through men, he was happy doing what he was doing to kill Jesus. Of course, Satan would not kill him. You know what I mean? To participate in the flesh in crucifying him. When you kill an innocent man, listen carefully. When you kill an innocent man, according to the law of scripture, the blood of that man starts crying. And when it cries, God will hear. And whatever the blood says to do, it will be done. Cain and Abel. Is that true? Abel was dead, but his blood cried. Now, when Satan did all that he did, the blood of Jesus started crying. And instead of crying to say, avenge me, he says, no, as a reward for killing an innocent man, release the one who is guilty. You see now, release the one who is guilty. So, every time Satan stands before you and claims that it is true that your fathers worship idols and based on legal grounds, you should not experience breakthrough. You should experience barrenness. You tell him, you are right if I'm the only one who is going to fight this case. But, I have an advocate. Are we together now? This is very powerful. The blood of Jesus is the legal system that breaks every hold, every hold of covenants and ordinances that speak against the saints. How does that happen? By reminding Satan that if it was just for the guiltless to become guilty, then it is just for the guilty to become guiltless. Very simple equation. You have to understand this about blood. The blood of Jesus speaks. It speaks mercy for the saints. It speaks release for the saints. But it speaks judgment for Satan and his cohorts. And now watch this. The blood of Jesus is even an overpayment because whatever it is that gave the devil legal access, every blood came by earthly stands, whether animals or men. But the blood of Jesus was not of an earthly origin. Are we together now? So there is no bill that that blood cannot pay. Are we together? How many of you are trusting God for financial breakthrough? Okay, drop your hands. You are going to understand what I'm teaching you now. If Elon Musk or Bill Gates gives you access to his resources, question, relative to what he has and relative to your bills, will it become a concern again? Are we together? Probably what you will spend in a day is what summarizes your entire bills. So that is an overpayment. Now, when you hold that, if anybody looks at you and says, I remember you owed me five years, will you run? No. What is there is sufficient. You can even tell him, I can, I can bless you and still punish you and forgive you and bless you because of what I have. Now listen, listen to me. The blood of Jesus is not just sufficient to pay for sin. It is more than sufficient. Are we together now? And then, instead of speaking judgment to us, it now speaks mercy. And the blood of Jesus is the basis for the ministry of mercy. How do you apply the blood? Listen very carefully. 
when Satan, who is the accuser of the brethren, now comes as his culture is to accuse you of anything and then to make demands that on legal basis, what was agreed by covenants of fathers and witchcraft should happen to you. When you invoke the blood, what happens is you disappear in the spirit from that scene and Jesus is the one who stands there now. When Jesus stands there, Satan says, it's not you I'm talking to. This is the person I'm talking to. But he now says, the person has invited me. I gave him authorization to invite me. What then is your accusation against me? And he remembers that there is no accusation that he could bring before Jesus. Remember when Jesus stood before Pontius Pilate, it was an adumbration of man. They tried to bring accusations, but nothing could stand. Listen, believers, if you do not understand the power of the blood, there cannot be redemption. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7, as we prepare to take the communion and pray, the Bible says we have redemption. Ephesians 1, 7. We have redemption. I told you what it means to redeem. To redeem means to buy back, to reclaim ownership. And that happened through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches, the wealth of his grace. So I can stand before that demon spirit and say it is true that based on the ordinances of the fathers, I deserve to live a defeated life. But I'm standing here, it is by the blood. And the moment I invoke the blood, the case is not about me again. The case is about Jesus. And the moment Jesus shows up, there is absolutely no accusation. As simple as what I'm saying is, Satan dreads your knowledge of this. Means it's finished. Yes, we are changed.